everybody's favorite, math and science class. Oh yeah! Real short video about percent error. We were talking about this in class the other day. This is the one I told you that you've been doing your whole life, just in not the way you've seen it. Just not told to you this way. Anytime you've gotten a test back, you've had your percent error. I don't know why I put a definition. We're not defining it. All right. Boop. So your percent error is your correct value. minus your value divided by the correct value and then that whole thing times 100 now when I told you you've seen this before your whole life Anytime you've gotten graded on anything, this is how it's done. Your correct value, let's say I give you a test with 10 questions, and you get two wrong, divided by our correct value is how many we had, how many you could have gotten right, times 100. So in this case, two minus, 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 over 10 becomes 0.8 times 100. Hopefully you don't need a calculator for this, but then move your decimal, you end up with 80. And we're measuring percent error, so you need your percent. 80% go us. Now we'll do percent error with some science. Let's say you're calculating mass. And your mass should be 51.3 grams. And you record it to be 50.3 grams. So you subtract, divide by what it should have been, which was your 51.3. And then multiply the entire thing by 100. So genius and totally didn't just pause recording to look this up on a calculator and I absolutely did this in my brain. 51.3 minus 50.3 gives us 1 and 1 divided by 51.3 works out to 0 0.01949 blah 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 blah. We're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna round to the nearest hundredths which means we look at the thousandths. Now that's a nine, so that means we have to round up. So it becomes 0 0.02. But we can't forget about this guy, times 100. So 0 0.02 times 100, move your decimal point. R percent error, 2%. Pretty good.